everyone, Jennifer Duclair here, the Bar Exam Mentor. I am going to take you through something very important. There is this factor, this little known factor. Actually, it's just not known, right? It's not known. Um, when I started to reveal this to people, they started to catch on and go, oh my goodness, I never thought of that. But it is a factor that can cause you to fail your Bar Exam over and over and over again for 10 plus years. I am serious. I have helped people who have been struggling with the bar exam for over a decade. And when we uncovered and resolved this factor, they passed on their very next bar exam. So I am going to reveal to you today what that factor is. Nobody is talking about it. It's just not out there. It's not even thought of that this might be the reason why I'm failing my bar exam because it has nothing to do with your academics, has nothing to do with your law school, has nothing to do with your classes, right? But it has everything to do with whether you pass the bar or not, according to the way your mind works. So we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you how your mind, or rather your ego mind, there's a difference, a subtle difference, right? Um, but how your ego mind works to uh, keep you from passing the bar when this factor is present. If you're watching with me now, you know something that's very, very interesting for me to find out is about you. First, say hi in the comments. Hi, everyone. Hi, go ahead and drop a comment. and. Let me know when is it during law school or maybe even before law school that you knew what area of law you were going to practice in. Now this has to do with what we're talking about today. So go ahead and take a second, if you're not driving, <laughs> type in the comments what was it or when was it that you knew what area of law you were going to practice, right? What area of law you were going to practice. Was it 1L year, 2L year, 3L year? before law school, after law school, or are you still undecided? Go ahead and drop that in the comments. Hey Queen, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey Ashley, at 12, at age 12 you knew what uh, law area you were going into Ashley? That is awesome. Wow, I'm gonna find out more later. Hey Sade, it's good to see you guys. Thank you for joining me everyone. I'm gonna take a sip of water while you answer me in the comments. When did you know what area of law you were going into? This plays in with what we're talking about today and if you follow along and play along, then you'll actually like be impacted by the information and come out a more successful bar taker than who you were when you first tuned into this video. So make sure you stay on till the end because I'm going to give you all the information and a solution. I'm not just gonna tell you what the problem is, I'm gonna tell you how to solve it too. But meanwhile, I'm watching for your comments right here. Last semester of law school. Mm -hmm. Still don't know what I wanna be when I grow up. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. One all year, okay. So for those of you who are still undecided, um, you really wanna pay attention to this uh, live session because this factor is probably what's, what's tripping you up, right? Um, and I, I have these expressions when I speak because it, it, it hurts, right? When you find out that this is what has been keeping you from passing the bar, your heart breaks, right? It's really, really like, oh my goodness, I could have solved this, you know? And when I give you the solution at the end of this live session, you're gonna realize how easy it is to actually solve it and you can have a better day, a better bar prep life starting tomorrow. Hashtag bar prep life, right? A better bar prep life starting tomorrow. Um, once you implement the solution that I'm going to give you today, All right? So thank you for answering me in the comments. I love that you interact with me, that you uh, give me the information. It helps me to know which direction to take this in to help you the most on these Thursday, Thursday lives. So thank you for talking with me in the comments. All right. I am going to help you to clear up this particular bar exam issue almost instantly. Stay with me till the end, okay? Now... I'm just gonna come out with it and tell you what the what the the first step of this problem is three three prongs to it. The first prong to this problem is is called fear of the unknown. Now stay with me, right? Because a lot of people are like, oh yeah, I already know about that. No, not really, right? That's that's why I get paid the big bucks because there's stuff in here that you do not know about. I assure you, unless if you are attending our bar exam mentoring circle every Tuesday night or you are um, having private sessions with me and beat the bar, you don't know this. So stick to it and, and, and find this out. You will be so glad that you did. The fear of the unknown is, is one of the factors that keep you from passing the bar exam. Um, and I've read articles about it and every article that I've read gets it wrong, okay? One law grad inside our bar exam mentoring circle 
her first, uh, we'll call her June. All names have been changed for the privacy and protection of the people involved. But June, she, um, her first bar exam, she procrastinated like it was nobody's business, okay? She procrastinated up until I think one month before the actual exam. Okay, and I've spoken to a few people who do that, but um, June was the only one who stuck around and really like dove in for help because this level of procrastination um, will keep you from, not only just keep you from studying, but keep you from even asking for help. And you might even go so far as to lie to people who ask you. You might even go so far as to lie to them and tell them that you are studying when you haven't studied at all for like two months. Um, I know one person who had this problem from this fear and, um, Home and he was sleeping every morning and he just completely shut down shut down right um, and some other people um, they say they're gonna study they adjust their books they flip through they highlight stuff I'm gonna study that later highlight I'm gonna study that later highlight I'm gonna study that later but they're just doing busy work they're not actually studying okay so there's many many different sneaky ways that this procrastination shows up and she procrastinated up until one month before the bar of course she failed then on her second go around, she found herself on the other end of the extreme, overstudying, compulsively studying, worried about her progress, questioning herself, um, diving too deep emotionally into the practice question um, scores, right? When your mood swings with your, with your practice question scores, you know you have a problem. But she got to talk to us because she's in our mentoring circle and we... I went through a series of questions with her. Actually, she and I spoke one-on-one. -on -one. I took her through the series of questions that reveal what's really the problem. Because you might say, procrastination is my problem. And you might look up articles on how to stop procrastinating. Have you ever found that those articles didn't help one bit? Like you might have instituted the help and advice they gave you the first day or two days, but by day three, you're done. You, you procrastinated on your anti-procrastination methods, right? And so when it doesn't come from inside, when the change is not from the inside, it's really hard to, to do your anti-procrastination stuff. It's really hard to get up and do what you're supposed to do. You might force yourself to do it the first week or two or even the first month, but willpower only takes you so far. Anybody who's watching and you're in a position to type, please type that in the comments. Willpower will only take you so far right eventually you run out of willpower it's like a muscle eventually it gets fatigued right if you're doing it by sheer strength and willpower you're not going to make it to the end of bar prep season you're not going to make it the whole three months or six months or however long that it is you're supposed to be studying you are going to procrastinate and drag yourself for one month two months one week two weeks and then feel bad about it which then mushrooms the whole procrastination thing because now you have negative feelings associated with bar prep who here has negative feelings associated with bar prep? Let's let's come on out and let's like start to take this stuff off of our chest. Like, you know, unload your burdens. Yes, me, I have negative feelings associated with bar prep. This is what I'm helping you with right here, right now, okay? So she procrastinated the first time. The second time she was overdoing it. And finally we spoke together and I did the careful line of questioning that I spent years learning how to, um, kind of get around the d defense mechanisms that you have and get to what the real thing is, okay? If it was easy to do that, you'd be able to do that at home. I'm actually going to show you uh, a tip. Stay till the end and you'll be able to um, help yourself the way that I help people, you know, who pay good money to be in my programs. So I did the series of questioning to get her to the real problem and once I found out what the real problem was, fear of the unknown, then I gave her, you know, the prescription, so to speak, on how to deal with that fear that specific fear and then yes she, once she dealt with it and it takes about five to seven days or so once she dealt with it then she was able to see a difference in the way she was approaching her studies and with each week that passed that new approach to the studies became her new normal who wants a new normal say new normal in the comments i'm ready for a new normal when it comes to this bar prep stuff right put that in the comments you know what i love more and more people are coming before they even took the first bar exam because mindset is a huge portion of bar prep 
And people are realizing that now, and more and more people are coming into our circle, into our programs, who haven't taken a bar exam yet, but they know they need a handle mindset. They're being proactive. I love you proactive lawyer types, right? So June, as we'll call her, right, found out that it was a fear of unknown, and, um, and, and she dealt with it, right? So instead of wasting hours of studying or reading up on more tips and tricks or looking up and buying more academic prep materials she took care of what the actual thing was and this actual thing is a mindset thing and it helped her with her bar exam but guess what guys it also helped her with her whole life right because this fear of the unknown as I'm going to explain to you later was pushed out to the future right and it didn't have anything to do with the bar exam specifically when you do your mindset work especially the way that we give it to you this solution doesn't just help you with your bar exam, it helps you with your whole life. Who's up for a whole life benefit, right? Spend money on something that's for the bar, but actually it helps your whole life? Who's up for that? <laughs> I'm raising my hand, right? Because when I found the mindset solution, it helped my whole life. Passing the bar was just the beginning of how wonderful my life was going to become now that I knew about mindset and how to work it. Who's up for a whole life solution? Let me know in the comments. Whole life solution. Yeah? So, if you already commented, um, now I know, you know, if you already commented that, you know, you knew when you were going to go into a certain area of law in your 2L year, 3L year, whenever, I want to know at this moment which area of law you selected. Again, play along. This is going to help you. Which area of law did you select? Okay? If you selected, which area of law did you select let me know in the comments what I love about our, our groups are um, this Facebook group but most importantly specifically our mentoring circle is that people make lifelong connections that turn out to be very beneficial even lucrative connections but the networking is for real inside of our bar exam mentoring circle people make lifelong friends like because it's like going through something together that bonds you right have you ever like been in a sorority or fraternity or shoot even gone through military boot camp right you get bonded with the people that you kind of go through these uh events with right and so we kind of take the bar journey together and people bond and these connections are all over the United States and very beneficial. I was talking to some graduates last week and they were telling me about some of the networking connections they made within the circle. So share with us, what area of law did you select to practice in? Let us know in the comments. You may start to make connections starting from today. Fear of the unknown reaches beyond the bar. It's not just about not knowing what's on your bar exam. Fear of the unknown can be that, and that's the only unknown that I've seen addressed when it comes to the bar. But there's actually a way bigger unknown, a way bigger unknown, that is directly impacting whether you pass or fail. And I'll explain to you what that is and why it's impacting it in a second. I'm going to get a sip of water while you continue to let me know what area of law you chose to practice in. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and play along. This is for your benefit as well. When you put fingers to keyboard or pen to paper, your brain starts to process the information more. And this is a little way of like committing yourself to the information that signals your brain, oh, this is important. Let's take in what, what she's teaching, right? So go ahead, play along. Tell me what area of law you chose. I'm going to take a sip of water. This, la the second thing I'm going to tell you goes way beyond the actual bar itself. What you're afraid of is bigger than just the bar. And I'm going to tell you what. Oh, I needed that. All this talking. Okay. Here's the big, huge area where fear of the unknown exists that people haven't even thought about before talking to me. Okay. Fear of the unknown is about what your life will be like after the bar. It's not the bar. It's about life after the bar. See, you were born with certain systems and mechanisms to make sure that you're clothed, fed, warm, loved. It's a plus. It's not necessary, but you're your mechanism does seek for love. That's why you may have a people-pleasing tendency or, you know, things like that. And safe. Your mechanism there that's meant to keep you safe is the strongest mechanism of all. That's why um, 
people have an aversion to anything called death, even though the only thing that you know for sure on this earth that is going to happen is that you will die, right? But people still fight it like crazy, right? Um, this mechanism, the way that it keeps you safe is to keep you in your familiar territory or surroundings. That means that wherever you are in life today is familiar and safe. Anything else you're going to do that is different or new, even though you want to do it, is unsafe according to that protective mechanism. We will call it the ego, okay? Not ego as in, oh, you you know, so full of yourself. We're talking about ego as in, um, this is a psychological term that we use to refer to that mechanism, okay? That keeps you safe and gives you an identity and, and keeps you um, alive and well, protects the body. Ego believes that if you become a lawyer, that's a different territory, different lay of the land. We don't know what that looks like. Uh -uh, we ain't doing it. That's your ego. So although you, in your higher mind, in your grown-up mind, have created this goal, I want to become an attorney, ego says, what in the world are you doing? We are safe and warm here. And, and keeps you back. Anybody, if this is the first time you're hearing this or thinking about it, I want you to type a hashtag mind blown in the comments. Hashtag mind blown blown right Pew. a lot of people when they hear this they're like oh my goodness i never realized that something like this could be holding me back but it's true if you don't have a goal a well-defined clearly laid out picture you know of the future then and and even if you do the ego's like that's not what we know we have no idea what dangers lie therein we ain't going there that's your ego and it's going to keep you back from going usually in our private sessions or with me or if you are in the mentoring circle you, you get the group sessions with caroline we will take you through the line of questioning to find out if that's what's bugging you that's not the case for everybody not everybody has a fear of the unknown about the future right so when you have procrastination um lethargy lack of energy um and other things that that tend to plague you during bar prep it may be this fear of the unknown about your attorney future. It may not be. It may be other things. Today we're talking about that particular fear. But there are like a dozen and one different things that could be holding you back when it comes to passing the bar exam, right? And usually we take you through a line of questioning to get to which one is it. But I've actually created a way that you can access that line of questioning and the solution for whichever one it happens to turn out to be whatever you know the culprit is for you there's a solution for it that you can implement same day and as early as the next day you're more confident and and composed and enthusiastic about your bar studies doesn't that sound exciting like i can do this myself and by tomorrow i'm like better yes better isn't that exciting type me yes in the comment if that's exciting that you can take control over like the emotions around this bar exam for once right so I want to give you a caveat. There's this really important thing that you need to be aware of so that when you when you start working on your mindset, be it with me or Caroline or you know on your own at home with the tools that I give you, you can be aware of what's happening when when certain things come to play so i'm going to give you that so that you can like you know have all the warning signs and all the everything you need to hear this before you go playing with the tools that i give you you know um read the whole instruction manual first kind of thing right um before i do that though i want to ask i want to take a feel for the room here which do you prefer diy help or um, professional help like doing it myself at home or no I'm gonna get somebody to do it you know for me or with me which one do you want DIY or personal help tell me in the comments which one you prefer there's no right or wrong to this um, I love to know what you know the majority of people here you know prefer and also if you take a stand and you're like okay I know which one I want I know which one is better for me I know which one works for me you know like when people look at the group versus personal a lot of people say I I'm one of those people I like to sit in the back of the class and watch everybody and I learn from that. And so they pick the group. And then there's other people like, I know groups don't work for me. I want one-on-one -on -one attention. I need the whole 45 minutes with Jennifer and I just need to be able to, you know, focus on me. 
and it's like you have to know yourself right so know yourself in the comments today tell me which one is better for you DIY or personal professional help let me know in the comments I would love to see your responses I want to see your responses let's see all right look at you guys professional help mm -hmm. DIY mm -hmm. professional help mm -hmm. myself look at that it's almost like half and half <laughs> like I said there's nothing like it there's no one that's better than the other but you need to know yourself know yourself embrace yourself life would be so much easier if we stop trying to be like other people and just accept what's good for us and do what's good for us then you will reach that place and that other person reach the same place in their own way right when we try to be like other people because we think if we're like them we'll get what they have we just end up down here while they're already up there if you do it your way, you'll be up there just like they are, but you all each got there a different way. So personal help or DIY help, which one is you? Own it, put it in the comments. Let's go. So here's the caveat, the big warning sign, the big eh, eh, danger, danger that you need to watch out for when you dive into this mindset work, whether you're doing it with me, Caroline, or whether you're you know doing a DIY on your own, okay? The big thing that you want to look out for when you're doing this um, mindset work is that the ego, because it really believes it's protecting you, its protective mechanism keeps you from understanding what's, what's wrong. Its protective mechanism will play tricks on you, okay? Like, like I said, June had to sit down and get, um, you know, have me walk her through the questioning, right? And one benefit to having the personal help is that we can bring you back when you try to run away mentally people try to run away and there's so many ways that they do it and i can catch it and make you come back right gently lovingly kick your butt to come back um but when you're doing it on your own at home especially you need to watch out for this caveat because you you know i'm going to tell you exactly how you can start to solve these bar exam culprits i'm going to tell you at the end um but when you grab a hold of these very 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 useful tools you want to to be aware of when the ego tries to make you go away from the line of questioning you're doing right because the ego knows that if Jennifer if Jennifer keeps down this path she's going to uncover this thing and we don't need her messing with this thing it took us years to get this thing all plastered over and repaired we don't need her messing with that right and it could be um, something that you know caused a lifelong blow to you know confidence and now you're asking yourself the little questions like, why am I procrastinating? Da, 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 da. You keep going down the, the road and then you, you're getting closer and closer to that life altering thing that happened. And ego's like, warning, warning, don't let her in here. And I'm telling you, all kinds of things will happen to stop you from doing it. I've seen people get into accidents, break your foot, um, internal reactions, as well as the mental reactions. Um, you just like your mind just like oh look look at the squirrel that's ego oh look at the squirrel right oh she's getting too close let's give her something shiny to look at so that she can stop this phone rings and then you forget about this thing you don't come back to it anymore and not all ego ego is a part of you right not all ego like you yourself you're uncomfortable you you could you go along with it you could resist ego and when you get good at this you will resist ego and you will keep on with your line of questioning so you could solve the problem already but especially in the beginning you it's uncomfortable to get closer to the answer because there is a reason why you buried it there's a reason why you put it away and said you don't want to look at it right there's a reason why you you don't want to think about it many times when i'm doing the line of questioning people either say one i never thought about that or two i don't want to think about that but you have to in order to get to the other side and be free so that's that big caveat, okay? It is easier when you have someone holding your hand and pretty much moving you through it, right? But if you're doing it on your own, just be aware that the ego has this protective mechanism to make you go away from or quit the line of questioning that's gonna to lead to your freedom. But you want that freedom, right? Yeah? So we overcome it with the, the tools that I'm going to give you. How would you feel if you knew that every single day of your bar prep, you had a tool that you could use to help you with any problem that came up. I'm talking about procrastination, anxiety, overstudying, terrible sleep, not getting enough sleep, nightmares at night, low scores, feeling drained. Even if you have relationship issues like with your parents or your loved one, your significant other, children, you know, 
even those issues, like whatever issue came up, you would have a tool in your toolbox to address that issue. How would you feel if you had that knowledge every single day of your bar prep? No matter what happens, I actually have something to deal with it. It could be this, that, 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 or the other. I have something I can pull out to deal with that. How would you feel if you had that? Can you type in the comments, adjectives, adjectives, describe your feelings, emotions, right? How would you feel if you knew that you have this, this toolbox, right? And you woke up every day confident because you know things happen, but whatever it is that happens, I have something for it. Let me read some of your comments and see what you have, um, your feeling words that you've put in the comments. Feeling words, guys. Go ahead and share with me. How would you feel if you knew? Okay. Okay. So when you consider how you would feel if you knew that you have a solution for everything that comes up, right? That you have a solution, yeah. It would be ecstatic, it would be thrilling, right? To know that, oh, I got this. Even though I don't know what might be around the corner, I know whatever comes up around the corner, I have something for it. It would instill confidence. You would immediately become confident just knowing you have the toolbox, right? And it would instill peace, right? Especially after you use one or two of those tools and you realize this stuff actually works. You know, when people come back to me, they say, oh my goodness, I've never had this level of peace before. Everybody around me is freaking out about the bar exam and I'm completely like, because I know what's going to happen. If something comes up, I know what to do with it. And they are really peaceful, almost feeling guilty on how peaceful they are about the bar compared to other people who do not have this tool, right? Doesn't something like that sound exciting? Yeah. So I've prepared, and some of you already have. Now, if you already have it, feel free to drop in the comments how helpful it's been to you. But I've prepared a uh, toolbox filled with the, the resources and the tools that I use in my coaching and that you know Caroline uses with the group. I've prepared a bundle of them that you can access and get yourself the help at home that you would like to have, right? So if you already have it, then, you know, dive back into it and make sure that you know what each piece is so that you can grab it really quickly whenever something comes up. But if you don't have it, I highly encourage you to go look at the Conqueror's Mindset Bundle. The Conqueror's Mindset Bundle allows you to get past the fear of the unknown that we just talked about, specifically regarding your future right and it does it in the way that gets around the ego's defense mechanisms remember what i just told you about how the ego keeps you from getting to what it really is as long as you don't get to what the thing really is you're not going to get the freedom you're not going to pass right and i've seen that proven time and again right when people resist it and they kind of like stay away from it they take the next bar exam and it, it still doesn't work when they finally give in and they're like okay i'm going to dive in i'm not going to hold back i'm going to do it all they had to do is the actual thing. They didn't have to work any miracles. Just fill out the worksheets, do the do the meditations, do those things. Just do them, right? And they work themselves out in your mind for you. You don't have to do any other heavy lifting. Just put pen to paper and press play. And it does the work for you because of the way that I've structured it to bring you through the mindset maze so that you can get to the end of the end of the rainbow, find your pot of gold, and be free. If you want the Conqueror's Mindset Bundle, then definitely comment below me and Ashley will tell you where you can find it. So comment me whatever time of day that you're watching this, if you're watching the replay, and we'll get you the link so that you can find it, right? Today, so that you will be able to wake up tomorrow feeling peaceful, more confident, and ready to tackle your bar, your bar study, right? Your bar prep. This, the tools in there, and there are various tools for the various problems that commonly come up with bar takers. And that's what I've done is I've taken all the, the, the tools that address the common problems. So if you acquire this Conqueror's Mindset Bundle, then you have a toolbox to uh, refer to whenever you're experiencing something during your bar prep. If it's deeper than that, which these are the tools that we use inside of our coaching, they are effective. Right? They are effective when used as instructed. 
all right you will be helped you know if you're a diy type person so if you want further help than that you can always look into a confidence kickstart call or something to to find out what other remedies exist right using legal legal speak here but the conqueror's mindset bundle is the place that you want to start so that you can get rid of this culprit the fear of the unknown you know with your life um, and there's a specific way to approach that right to not um poke at the ego and make the ego jump into action to protect you from yourself you have to go about it a specific way and we lead you through that way in the conqueror's mindset bundle but also issues with boundaries with family members if they're not letting you study or they're coming in and intruding upon your time and you have a hard time saying no right because you don't want the guilt that comes with it and all that we have a tool for you in there anxiety or panic about your bar exam especially if you're coming closer to the bar exam date we have a tool for you inside the conqueror's mindset bundle that addresses that um and and a number of other things there are a number of tools in there so ask ashley for the link say me in the comments below me in the comments if you want it me in the comments ashley will send it to you uh send you the link where you can find it dive into it use it asap you will see a difference come back and tell me how it helps that's it for now. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you again next Thursday at noon for another live. Bye.